Hey guys, Ray from LoveyRV.com. Just attending to a little project, a little repair I've had on the back burner for a while. You can see a little bit of weeping coming out of my city water connection here. And that's, there's a, a tiny check valve in there and the O-ring is uh, worn out. About a year and a half ago I did a video where I took it all apart and the O-ring had come dislodged. And I put it back together and it lasted about a year or so, but then it started weeping again. So I had a chance to pick up a new city water connection. You can see in there, right in there, is the check valve and it's got a, a rubber O-ring. So we're going to pull off this old one and put in the new one. Hopefully that will solve my problem of a little bit of weeping. So the check valve allows water to go in, but then it doesn't come back out. Especially when I'm using my water pump, the water pump pressurizes the system inside. So if uh, this thing is like this, I can lose a lot of water while I'm boondocking. In the meantime, I've just been putting a plug in it. So now I'm back to actually fix the problem. So we're going to go around the other side here on the back. And I'm going to undo this hose and then pull that out and swap in the new part. Okay, got the old one out. And of course, when you're working on an RV, usually things don't go right, and you always end up with the wrong part. <laughs> so I got, you can see on the end, I got a female here and a male here. Great. But lucky for me, I found a double male in my tickle trunk over here, all my old parts. Always keep your old parts. Canadians will get that reference. Older Canadians get the reference to a tickle trunk. Look up Mr. Dress Up on the, the internet. Anyway, I'll be able to screw that on and then that will give me a, a male end to screw on to the water supply in the rig. There we go, that should do the trick. Let's put some Teflon tape on the threads there. And this yellow thing is a gasket that uh, came with the other one, so I just transferred it over. So I should be able to feed that through, screw it on, and everything should be uh, good to go again. Okay, so a half hour later, system pressurized and no leaks. No leaks where I repaired it, but unfortunately, I got a leak up here, actually, where the other end of this hose goes into the main feed here, cold water feed. It started leaking, and it started leaking right where this rubber clamp is on this flexible hose. It started leaking out of the bottom of it. So I guess when I pulled this hose apart, you know, plumbing over the years starts to get brittle, especially this vinyl stuff, and it started leaking right up there. So I put some black rescue tape, silicone type repair tape, just for now because I don't have one of these in my tickle trunk. <laughs> Gonna have to get a hold of one of these and just replace that line. They just uh, they just connect with uh, finger tight things. But that's a good thing to have in your rig it's toolbox. This uh, black rescue tape. It's a silicone tape and you and you wrap it around. You stretch it as you wrap it around, and it uh, fuses to itself. So you wrap it really really tight and you can uh, fix leaks and all sorts of things, at least temporarily. Good for a radiator hose or something, or obviously plumbing. Anyway, I'll have another repair project to do now. <laughs> it's the way it is with plumbing. You touch one thing and all of a sudden another thing goes. At least that's the way it is for me. So, we're all ready to go for our fresh water connection here. I think I'm going to go with the water pump for a while until I get that other hose repaired. Just uh, in case that other thing starts to leak, at least if I have the water pump running, I'll hear the water, if it starts to dribble or anything, I'll hear the water pump pressurizing. It'll run more than it should. It'll run when I'm not opening any taps. It'll alert me to the leak. If I just hook up the city water, I won't know that's leaking and I'll end up flooding my basement. By the way, if you guys are looking for uh, some mods or upgrades to do in your rig, I'll link back to my Love Your RV mod and upgrade archive. Maybe you could uh, get an idea of some things to uh, pass the time with. Till next time, Ray from Love Your RV. Cheers, everyone.